Now, I come from a particular part of the country where the person has offered free electricity. And in the process, under his tenure, he has allowed communal riots to take place yes. in the capital of the country. To the extent that on the Republic Day, the tricolor was taken off from the red fort. And when the US president was there. Exactly. Right? Now, it's easy for me to blame one particular individual, but that individual has been offered as a choice by the society. After all, it's a democracy still. Fortunately or unfortunately, the future will decide. But such an option has been elected with a fairly clear majority twice, where not in some remote part of the country, of but the in the capital of the country. So what does that tell you about our priorities? So here's the thing. I think it's important to realize two things. One, allow me to use the word Hindu society now. The Hindu society is fundamentally capable of generating wealth. You did that even under the license permit Raj. Liberalization only unleashed your innate potential. It did not create a potential, it liberated that potential. Even in the worst of times, Artha has always been in the hands of this community. That's a fact. If the society manages to retain this sense of self-confidence and also has the ability to take care of its own underprivileged people through its institutions, it will be in a much better position to negotiate its cultural priorities with the government. Otherwise, the government will use freebies and subsidies as a way of undermining the Hindu society. So I am not going to make the secular argument that the subsidy or freebie as a policy is an economic blunder. I am saying it's a civilizational disaster.